After four years of wrestling with WorkSafe BC, I find myself no further along the path than the day I filed my claim. Unfortunately, far too many people I've met during the last four years report that they too have had very similar experiences. I feel like a character in the CS sure drawing, many laps and still where I started. Attempts to anticipate what strange and curious or incurious curve they will create are impossible to predict and anticipate. If the Mad Hatter were to pop up, I would not be surprised. If that were to happen, one can assume the Mad Hatter would be well paid, as approximately one third of books like BC employees made over $100,000 during the year 2012. The top 10, almost 3 million in 2012. And that figure does not include the lucrative holdback many received. WCAT high rollers, apparently a state secret. A significant portion are over $100,000 a year. <laughs> These wages are paid for from the employer's premiums, money the employers think is going to the injured workers, money from other taxpayer organizations such as a local municipality with a population of approximately 16,000, and the WorkSafe BC premium, more than 74,000. A bureaucrat in the Byzantine Empire would be comfortable working for WorkSafe BC or WCAT. The liberty of bizarre interpretations of rules and regulations would, would fit into that form of government well. It costs employers, workers, and the public a significant amount of money to support a Byzantine-like empire at works at BC and WCAP. Few British Columbians feel we are getting value for our money. The use of stress as a weapon to cause additional suffering and hurt for a claim that has been refined to a point that the Marquis de Sade did not think of. The race to the finish line is comparable to Zeno's paradox. No matter how close one gets to the finish line, they can never cross it. To oversee the actions of WorkSafe BC, the Workers' Compensation Appeal Tribunal, or WCAT, has been created. Workers' Compensation Appeal Tribunal, or WCAT, is a strange creature. It is not what it claims to be. WCAT site declares they are independent of WorkSafe BC. Yet, the WorkSafe Board of Directors Manual states, WorkSafe BC also funds external bodies the long-standing offices of workers and employers' advisors, and WCAT are funded by WorkSafe BC, in theory at arm's length, though through the Minister of Labour. But to confuse things, the manual states the WorkSafe Board of Directors are appointed by the Minister of Labour. Arm's length, bit of a stretch, as the only purpose of WCAT is to deal with the appeals of WorkSafe BC decisions. Is this any different than the judiciary being funded by organised crime? More from the WorkSafe Board of Directors Manual. Terms of reference for President and Chief Executive Officer. Compliance with established policy and regulations. The CO shall ensure the decisions of the Workers' Compensation Appeal Tribunal or WCAT are monitored to determine if decisions conform with the law and board policy and discuss WCAT decisions with the Board of Director Chair. Make sure that WCAT decisions conform with WorkSafe Board policies is this the same as the underboss or Soto Capo of the Mafia making certain the appeal court judges conform with Mafia interests? WCAT website also states, WCAT hears appeals directly from WorkSafe BC decisions concerning discriminatory actions, complaints, and applications to reopen claims. Unfortunately, according to WorkSafe BC, if WCAT has made a ruling, then WorkSafe can reopen a claim but apparently they can make no decision on it if WCAT has made a decision. Yet another example of policies, regulations, and practice of WorkSafe BC and WCAT heading in a variety of directions. A challenge to determine who is in charge. A snake eating its own tail is a good way to describe the operations of WCAT and WorkSafe BC. The Honorable Shirley Bond, Minister of Labour, is the BC Cabinet Minister responsible for WorkSafe BC and WCAT. Now is the time for the leadership, Minister Bott. You have the evidence. The organizations you are responsible for are out of control, marching to their own tune, creating rules for their convenience. Request to the Minister responsible for WorkSafe and WCAT. The Honorable Shirley Bond returned. No response. Minister Bond, hiding from the problem at WorkSafe and refusing to deal with the mess, is not a solution. The time for leadership is now. We're mad as hell, and we're not going to take this anymore.